How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Group Mike here. You guessed it, man. I am back in the beautiful sunshine state of California. So I've got a lot of videos coming up this week uh, for you guys, so stay tuned. But today, I want to tell you about the newest addition to the Sling family. So a builder here just finished their Sling TSI recently who also happens to be a viewer on Mojo Grip. So I reached out and they also supported my build. So I'm very happy. But anyway, he gave me access to check out his plane today. And I'm, I'm, I'm so happy <laughs> for him as I am happy for my own build. But you guys stay tuned. We're going to check out his sling. Here is the newest addition, the newest Sling TSI off of the factory line, guys. As you can see, very, very bright colors here, orange and white. And you're gonna get to meet the owner soon because I'm gonna talk to him about what the process was like. Anyway, this is Algen's plane and it is as nice as nice can get. This plane actually gives me hope and dreams because as you all know I'm also building a sling TSI and to watch another builder go through the process and then now they're basically in the test flight phase of the build so if you don't know this yet when you go the experimental route and you build your own plane once you're done building to get a you know to get a certificate for your plane you have to fly the plane for 40 hours, which is what they're doing currently. So they've been flying this plane back and forth to, you know, to build that time. But anyway, let's let's check it out. It's it's really sweet. And again, I'm so happy from another builder to another builder. I'm so happy for him because I know what it's like to to wait uh, and see what your your plane is like. You know, all the money and time and sweat equity you put in it. Uh, but this is such a beautiful bird, guys. For a lot of you who watch this channel, you're probably already familiar with the Sling TSI. It is the beefed up version of the Sling 4. As you can see, the first obvious thing if you see this compared to a 4 is this propeller. They're much bigger. And these are constant speed prop. Okay? And then under the cowling, you have a Rotax 915 engine uh, in there. I've already gone through... Uh, other sling TSI's in the past for you to to uh, know all those stats as you can see the wheel pants you know something I said to him I'm like man this wheel pants look a bit different from the first sling TSI that I flew but it's just it's pretty much the same I think the colors maybe messing with my eye a bit and as you as you see the the color uh, the owner went with here he's got some white okay some white here, some uh, silver stripes, and then some dark colors, and then you've got orange, which also complements the interior, which I'm gonna show you right now. So let's get in this then and see what they got in there. Also, actually, I should mention one cool thing about Experimental and the Sling TSI, to be more particular, you've got LEDs, man. LEDs all over. Um, so these are some nice lights on there. So I'm gonna hop in the plane now. You've got your step up here, pull, and boom. Guys, here is the interior, and see the, let me get that sun flare out of the way. I think it's still there. Okay, boom. So here we are, you see the seats? These are the very first, okay? You, this is the very first in the Sling TSI family. You notice this is leather and this is not. And obviously uh, the owner went with this material because of the heat. The, the thing about leather is as nice as it looks, you know, it gets hot. And Algen is based in Florida and a lot of his flying is gonna be out in the East Coast where it's more humid and hot. So these will serve the body better than say just all leather. And you can see the color scheme he went with in here. You've got the orange uh, shoulder line, which I think is pretty neat. And then the diamond stitch in here. Um, and then more of that uh, on the bottom of the seat. 
And also, I really like the handles he went with. I might actually choose the same. I was looking at different handles myself, but these look pretty neat. And then if you look at the panel here, he went with the Garmin G3X Touch and you see this is a full glass panel here. I believe this airplane is IFR equipped. Okay, and one thing you should also know, this beautiful panel was designed by Midwest uh, Panel and they create some of the best panels and they work great to give you some nice workmanship. You know, you see on this panel, very neat. And you go down here, see your rudders. Now, part of the kit and the build process is these carpets you see right here, and also the side patterns. Now, I'm planning to have something a little different for my patterns for the sides. I like these, but I think they can be better. But anyway, this is Arjun's plane. And also, one thing that's new with the Sling TSI, okay, you've also got this middle storage unit here, which I like from day one. Um, you typically don't get these, okay? And the coolest thing about a Sling TSI is you've got one power lever, which is your throttle. That's it. Your constant speed prop is controlled up here. And the other thing you have here are hand brakes, which may take some getting used to, but they work really nicely. Trust me. You just got to fly behind it once and you should be good. Now, the back seat here, this is a four-seater. And don't mind all the stuff in the back. is because they've basically been flying back and forth in this plane. And actually, they're going back up in a couple of minutes once I'm done shooting this video. One thing you see here is that the back seat is together, but... With future Sling TSIs and probably mine as well, this will be split in the middle where you can fold each side of the seats uh, down. But without me even getting in the back, guys, you can see the leg room in this thing. Again, I've sat both in front and in the back seat of this plane, and it's just comfortable. <laughs> it's just comfortable. That, that I can tell you for a fact. But and one thing I should mention, guys, is you know, you're not limited to having this specific panel for the TSI or any experimental for that matter you can always choose or have your options for avionics there's Dynon there's a bunch out there but obviously Garmin is is a top-notch brand and there's a reason a lot of a lot of builders go with Garmin if you can afford uh, Garmin okay and then you've got your canopy doors here swinging doors that basically go up and down um, not sure what else I can say about this plane except that it looks so good. Um, and again, they're about to take it for another flight. So I hope to bring you some flight footage uh, of this bird flying. And like I said, I'm going to be talking to Algen himself at some point because I want him to tell us about what the process was like in building out his plane and then finally getting it and being able to sit in that pilot seat. Okay, anyway, this is my review of Algen's sling tsi i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and if this is your first time do not forget to subscribe again my name is mike thank you so much for watching and i will catch you on the next video peace guys thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video if this is your first time on the channel be sure to subscribe to mojo grip and if you've been watching my videos for a long time please consider supporting the channel with a monthly subscription. You can become an MVP or an elite member on the website. You can do so by going to mojogrip.net forward slash MVP or just use the link below in the description. Now.